Welcome to Donsky Tag. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can read your DHT22 sensor using Arduino. So, I have here my ESP32 and my DHT22 sensor. So, uh, DHT22 sensor is a low-cost temperature and humidity sensor and it may come as a standalone or a module type component. As you can see in here, I'm using the module type wherein the pillup resistor and the filtering capacitor is included so that I won't need to add any external component. It comes with three pins, the single data lines, and the power pins, ground, and DCC. So, for the wiring and schematic, I have here my ESP32, and we just need to connect the ground and the BCC pin to the 3.3 and the ground pin of your ESP32 microcontroller, and you can select any GPIO pins that support input and output. In my case, I'm using the Node MCU ESP32 and I have chosen the GPIO32 in the connection with my DHT22 sensor. I am using the library called the Adaproot DHT sensor library and in the description of this video, it contains the steps on how to install this library using platform IO IDE and the Arduino IDE. So, the code that I'm showing you here is available in my GitHub repository. And as you can see from the message below in the terminal, it is able to retrieve the humidity and the temperature. And it is able to retrieve also the heat index by passing in the humidity and the temperature temperature and calculating the heat index. The humidity and the temperature is at 67% and 31.40. If you try holding this sensor, then you, you would see that the humidity already shot up, which means that the temperature and the humidity has already increased, same also as the calculation of the heat index. So, that really is how easy it is to communicate with this DHT22 sensor and retrieve the humidity and the temperature readings. As for the code, you just need to import the necessary header file such as the DHT.h and you just need to define the pins where you want to connect the DHT sensor and the type of the sensor that I have here is the DHT22. The Adaproof DHT sensor library is able to communicate also with the DHT11 and the DHT21 or what is commonly known as the AM2301 or the AM2302. Next, you just need, just need to initialize the DHT sensor by passing in the pin and the DHT type. And in the setup function, you just need to initialize the serial monitor and then call the DHT.begin. In the loop function, you need to wait for 2,000 milliseconds or 2 seconds because that is the sampling rate by the DHT22 sensor. And you can just call the DHT that read humidity and the read that temperature. If you want to read the Fahrenheit, just pass in the true, which will return to you the value in Fahrenheit. Next, you have to add these things, which is the checking if the return value is not a number because the DHT22 sensor is hard to read. So, if ever there is a failure in the reading, then just continue with the loop and then wait for the next reading, which is the after 2 seconds. For the computation of the heat index, there is a method here called the compute heat index. You just need to pass in the temperature and the humidity and it will return to you the heat index in Fahrenheit or in the heat index in Celsius. After which, just create this serial.print line and then print the values that you needed. In this case, I'm just printing the humidity, the temperature, and the heat index. So that's all how easy it is to communicate with this DHT22 sensor. In a future Internet of this project, we will use this setup. So watch out for that project. The code, the write-up is in the description of this video and you will find much detailed information regarding how to communicate with this DHT22 sensor. And that's it. I hope you learned something. Happy exploring!